This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat. Which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the sake. safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is 
what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bark. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridgeline. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. 
Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Let's just get to the river. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. 